At the time I was growing up in Bangladesh, computers weren't, weren't there yet. When I came to the U.S. for my undergraduate, it's the first time I even saw a computer. I was somewhat intimidated by it because I've never even turned on the computer. In my class, we had our assignments to actually write a simple uh, computer program, and that's where all my worries came. And I go and sit in front of the computer, it's like, hmm. So I type my first line, I was like, hmm, so I want to now go to the next line, what should I do? I was hitting the arrow key that goes up, down, left, right, and nothing's happening. I didn't know that I needed to hit the return key to get to the next line, which is in the coming to think of it is quite counterintuitive. I think the arrow down key makes a lot of sense. I was probably the only student, the teaching assistant encounter where I said, I have this program written out. I, I typed the first line, but I don't know how to get to the second line. He had a, quite a the look of shock. It's like, are you sure you want to take this class? At that point, I took it as a challenge that I will overcome whatever deficiency I have and do whatever it takes to do well. Operating at the same level as everyone else, I, I don't think I still do it to the end. <laughs> I have improved over time. I might not be as fast or as efficient as others, but uh, I think that's okay. What really matters is passion, interest, and excitement about a certain topic. We actually are looking at patterns in voicing, trying to understand individual behavior and group behaviors from that. In some cases, I think coming from a different route actually opens you up to thinking about things differently and having a slightly different perspective on things.